Hello there. Have a, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great evening. Today we are going to find out we have a very interesting week ahead of us. To start off with, we have the um, Supreme Justice nominee being put in by the President. We have the continued resolutions for, for the United States. And, well, of course, we also have the talks for the stimulus. Well, let's start talking. Let's actually talk about those stopgap methods to prevent the United States government from shutting down. Mnuchin and Pelosi were actually talking about these, and from what I gathered, they're supposed to have some very good vib vibes coming off them. We thought everything was good to go, just to find out that actually it's not good to go. Because they, there, there basically isn't any agreement between Pelosi and Mnuchin about the stopgap methods so that our government doesn't shut down again. Yeah, we've had it happen a few times. Uh, if there is an agreement on this funding in nine days at midnight of next Wednesday, our government will shut down. And that will put a complete stop on everything until it reopens up. I got a simple solution for that. They're talking about how our deficit keeps going up. Well, okay, how about we stop giving the president $600,000 to remodel the White House, leave it the way it's supposed to be. How about we stop giving all the senators and House representatives a $60,000 budget to remodel their office every two years. There, right there you go. There's like, what, close to over, like, what, one, two, three million dollars right there that could go back into our budget. There's a stop. There's a way to help out with the budget. But <clears throat> wouldn't that be ironic, though, for our government to shut down amidst a pandemic and an election year with a Supreme Court justice nominee just waiting in the wings? Wouldn't that just be ironic? That'd just be ironic. Having four things happen go bad in one year. That has to say that have to say a lot, don't you think? But um, the bad thing is the stimulus are basically on the back burner for right now because they're more worried about keeping the government up and running, and, and which I guess if you keep the government up and running that gives you a better chance of getting stimulus out there, but I think what they're really doing is they are procrastinating. They don't want to help the people. So they're putting us on the back burner. Well, we're out there starving. We're out there dying. We're out there going homeless. And they're sitting nice and cushioned, nice fat little mansions, saying we don't care about the people. Now, how wrong is that? President Trump will make his... but. Uh, on different on different topic, President Trump will actually make his Supreme Court nominee this week, and is actually making a lot of controversy. We also have COVID COVID nineteen cases are back on the rise in the United States, and regarding the second stimulus check, the stimulus package negotiations, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats are accusing the White House negotiating team of blowing up on them, blowing up the stimulus deal. Sorry. Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell haven't directly talked to each other in about three months now about anything like the stimulus packages. President Trump and Nancy Pelosi haven't spoken, at least directly spoken to each other since October 16th of last year. And then we have Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, one of the White House negotiation team for the Republican Republicans criticized is getting criticized because they say that he's a pushover for this fifth, fifth stimulus package because he was criticized about caring more about the stock market as well as basically being able to be bent over backwards like a read for Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats. And the second member of the negotiation team for the White House negotiation team is actually Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Mark Meadows is actually known to, to blow up deals and is, is considered to be a loose cannon. Mark Meadows has also been known to clash with his own party. About topics that I'm not sure about, but 
I don't know. I mean, come on, you got a guy that's known to blow up, blow up stimulus deals and stuff like that, and he's a part of the negotiation team. But um, and even caused a government shutdown, as well as a uh, the last Republican Speaker of the House before I guess before Nancy Pelosi, um, caused her to go into retirement early. So. Let's hope that it doesn't blow up. Right, let's, he doesn't blow the stimulus package, that is. The Democrats are saying that Mark Meadows is an issue when it comes to stimulus negotiations and that they would rather negotiate with Stephen Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary. The one that is under criticism from Republicans because he basically cares about the stock market and he's willing to bend over backward for Nancy Pelosi. Wow. Bend over backward for Nancy Pelosi. That's just not a picture we need to be seeing, is it? But hey, there's politics for you. There's nothing much, much you can really do about that. And to, get, to finish off my broadcast, <laughs> I guess I should say that this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 21st. September 21st. 2020 and all the requests is if you like my content please give me a big old fat thumbs up if you wish to get more of my mind-boggling information please hit the subscribe button and turn your turn notifications on and until next time you guys have a magnificent monday and an excellent night